I was going to do something handstand related, but then I realized how crusty my handstand skills have gotten. I haven't done it in a couple weeks because I sprained my wrist and there's hell to pay apparently because I cannot hold it for the life of me. So I figured we'd do something else because this is infuriating to me. So I thought we'd go over how to do a walkover because as you can tell from my face, I just love them so much. The first thing you're gonna need to be able to do is kick over into a back bend like so, because that is obviously the first step of a walkover. So you need to get comfortable uh, with kicking over into a back bend and also coming out of it like so. Definitely practice this a lot because this is the core of a walkover because the more comfortable you are with these positions, the easier the walkover will be. Now there's some good old prep we need to go over. Firstly, you'll be standing on your dominant leg, which is your, your stronger leg, obviously, and your non-dominant will be the one extended in front of you. And this is because that when you kick over into your walkover, you will land on that dominant leg. So you need it to be the stronger leg to hold you. And your non-dominant will be the one that kicks over. So when you go into a walkover, you'll stand on your dominant, kick your non-dominant over and land on your dominant like so. And it's also good to keep your non-dominant as straight as possible because that really propels you over and gives you the momentum to get standing. When you've gotten comfortable at kicking into a back bend, kick over in walkover form. So that means when you're kicking over into that back bend, you're, you'll land on your dominant and your non-dominant will be straight when it hits the ground like so. And when you're coming out of it like so, you'll need to push your hips forward to really propel you up. So if you're at the point where you're kicking over into a walkover but not going the full way, make sure you practice this form because it will really prepare you for when you can do a full walkover. And honestly, they're kind of exhausting, so be prepared for that. The most pivotal part to a walkover is that momentum and that speed because otherwise you'll just get stuck in a backbend. So it just, it's something that takes a lot of practice and trial and error, and you probably will fall a couple times, but just keep getting back up, because keep practicing. I believe in you. With enough practice, you'll get it. 